हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अनुराग एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द सेशन 25 ऑफ वीडियो मैपिंग सीरीज एंड एज यू कैन सी द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज मैपिंग ऑफ द कंट्री ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड न्यूजीलैंड इज अ वेरी क्रूशल कंट्री फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच कैन बी आस्ड इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेशली यूपीएससी प्रीलिम्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन डिटेल द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड बिसाइड्स पॉलिटिकल फीचर्स एंड करेंट अफेयर्स and we will end with the probable questions that can be asked from this topic and friends if you are following this series you will emerge as a topper in solving mcqs based upon world and india mapping so let's begin today's session let's have a look on the location of new zealand first so new zealand is a island country located in southern pacific ocean in fact the southern part of all the oceans has been renamed in the year 2000 as southern ocean we saw the mapping of southern ocean in detail in a separate session southern ocean is demarcated as the water areas south of 60 degree south latitude it combines the waters of atlantic ocean pacific ocean as well as indian ocean apart from this you can see new zealand is located towards the southeast of australia and here is a very crucial water body known as tasman sea which separates australia and new zealand and lastly you can see new zealand is located towards the north of antarctica so that was all which is important regarding location of new zealand on the world map let's start with the physical features in physical features you can see new zealand is located on three islands the first is north island the second is south island and another island towards the south of south island is stewart island on the north island you can see the maximum area is plain area very less mountains contrastingly in the southern island the whole belt is mountainous and named as southern alps with the highest mountain peak of new zealand mount cook located on this island very less portion that too towards the east of southern alps is plain area and it has been named as canterbury plains it is in fact very similar to the prairie of north america and downs of australia in short grasses are grown here and specifically wheat for which new zealand is famous for wheat exports apart from this merino sheep is also reared in this belt merino sheep was brought from spain originally but at present the high quality wool is exported by new zealand as well so that was about the canterbury plains and you can see a very small projection of the land in the sea the banks peninsula apart from this on the north island is located the largest water body of new zealand lake taupo lake taupo is in fact a caldera that is it is a collection of water in the crater of a extinct volcano caldera is a very very crucial word out here apart from this uh, and lastly you can see the bay of plenty located towards north of north island and to end the physical features you can see the crucial water bodies surrounding new zealand the tasman sea surrounds it from the west while pacific ocean surrounds it from east and there are narrow water bodies called as straits in between the islands the first strait the cook strait separates north and south island while connecting tasman sea with pacific ocean and towards the south of south island is the foveax strait separating stewart island from south island before moving ahead let us revise the cr crucial points new zealand is located on three islands the north the south and the stewart island second there are two straits which have to be memorized one is cook strait separating north and south island and there is foveax strait separating south and stewart island Apart from this the largest water body on New Zealand is Lake Taupo located on North Island it is a caldera and on South Island there are two famous physical features one is southern alps on which the highest mountain peak of New Zealand the mount cook is located apart from this the canterbury plains similar to the prairies of north america and downs of australia famous for wheat exports and wool exports from rearing of merino sheep Moving ahead let's see the political features of New Zealand. First let's have a look over the famous cities. New Zealand has five famous cities. First is Auckland. In fact it is the biggest city of New Zealand population wise. 
and the city derives its energy from geothermal energy. Geothermal energy means the energy present inside the earth which comes out in the form of hot springs and geysers. And this is very common on North Highland from which Auckland derives its energy. Apart from New Zealand, another country is very famous for geothermal energy consumption and that is Iceland. Iceland is a country in Scandinavian part of Europe. We will go for a detailed mapping of this country when we do the mapping of Europe. Apart from this, just south of Auckland is Hamilton city and towards the southern tip of North Highland is Wellington. Wellington city is in fact the capital of New Zealand, administrative capital and it is the southernmost capital of the world, southerly most located capital of the world. Moving towards South Highland, you can see two famous cities, the Christchurch and Dunedin. Both cities are located near the Canterbury Plains and as such are famous for wheat exports and wool exports. And in both cities are present the food processing industries. On the second map also you can see these cities, Auckland is located in the northernmost belt of North Highland, followed by Hamilton, followed by Wellington. Wellington is the capital of New Zealand. On South Highland you can see Christchurch and Dunedin. And near Christchurch is located the famous Bank Peninsula. So that was all about the political features of New Zealand. Moving ahead with the current affairs, New Zealand was recently in news for a discovery made by the geographers in the region. That as per the discovery, the geographers have proposed continent status for New Zealand, a separate continent. And they have named it as Zealandia. In fact, as per the claims, the Zealandia continent will have its boundary in the Pacific Ocean in this way having a total area out here. In fact, the Zealandia continent will have its boundary which I have marked here upon the map. And as per the geographers, Zealandia continent is submerged 94% under water, while only 6% of Zealandia is above the water in the form of New Zealand and New Caledonia. Geographers have proposed the status of a continent for Zealandia as per the four criteria needed to declare a continent. So till date earth has seven continents and they have been declared if they satisfy the all the four criteria. The first criteria is elevation should be above the surrounding area. So in short it should be above the oceanic crust. Second it should have a distinct geology. In short the rocks the rock structures should be quite distinct quite separate from the oceanic crust. Third, it should be a well-defined area. So as you can see, I have marked here, it, has, it is a well-defined region upon the map. And lastly, the crust should be much thicker than that of oceanic crust. In fact, oceanic crust is denser and thinner as compared to continental crust. So to be declared as a continent, the area should be above the sea level. The area should have an elevation. It should have a separate rock structure. It should have a well-defined area and the crust should be thick and light as compared to oceanic crust. So, Zealandia is very, very important and here is another data. It is 94% underwater at present and only 6% over the water level. Approx area is 5 million square kilometers. Moving ahead with current affairs, New Zealand was in news in March 2019 for all the wrong reasons because of a terror attack on a mosque in Christchurch. New Zealand till date has been one of the most peace loving countries of the world and such a terror attack reiterated the fact that none of the countries are immune from terror attacks. And in short, the terrorist attacks across Europe or India or New Zealand are all uh, dangerous signals which should be countered as soon as possible. And last current affairs about New Zealand countries. The Indian cricket team has gone to New Zealand to play a T20 one day as well as test series. And in T20 series, the Indian team defeated the New Zealand team 5-0. Yet at the same time, India lost the one day series. The test series is going on at present. Let me tell you that it was the same New Zealand team which defeated India in the World Cup semi-final in England in 2019. 
this much information is more than sufficient for New Zealand. To end the session, let's see the list of probable questions. First, sea separating Australia and New Zealand. We saw it is Tasman Sea. Second, straits present near New Zealand. We saw Cook Strait and Foveax Strait. Third, crucial islands in Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia. They are sets of islands in Pacific Ocean. We have seen in detail in Pacific Ocean mapping. Please refer the video of Pacific Ocean for the same. Fourth, criteria to be declared as a continent. We have seen four criteria. It can be asked in UPSC prelims 2020. And lastly, countries dependent upon geothermal energy. We saw it is Iceland and New Zealand. So that was all in the session. Thanks a lot.